the view the 360 and uh, this is the only sub $1,000 3 3D 4K. That's correct. That is camera. the first and still the only 3D 360 VR camera for consumers. So uh, uh, how soon are you shipping? Well, we're shipping it in eight weeks. We had a slight delay. We were hoping to ship it in Q4, but we were shipping it on March 7th to all so our customers. So what was the delay? What's the reason for the delay? Well, you know, it's a very complex product. We didn't realize the uh, amount of time that we need to do for the certification and for the processing and for all other challenging uh, parts of the software. It comes with a software that is uh, doing the stitching automatically. It's a very complex product because it is built to be simple for the users. So it's stitching inside this device? No, it's stitching with a PC software. It comes with a, a software with it, just one click of a button, and then you can create uh, VR content. We are democratizing VR content creation. This is what we do. But does a 360 uh, 3D work on the YouTube, for example? Yes, YouTube supports 3D 360 right so now. 360 yes. 3D? Yes, in 3D. Right? It's actually, again, it's the only one who's doing that uh, under $1,000. You have some professional cameras, extremely expensive, dozens of thousands of dollars, um, at the same quality. Same quality? What yeah. kind of optics do you have? Well, we have eight full HD cameras with eight cameras uh, with 180 degrees field of view and 120 degrees horizontal field of view. This is how we capture the entire sphere. Going up and down a little bit, right? Fish eye style or? How, how do you get the angle? Yeah. 180 degrees field of view. Right. Right. And uh, how does it stitch this with this, with that, with that? Well, basically what you see here is eight cameras. Camera number one, three, five, and seven creates a panorama for the left eye, two, four, six, and eight for the right eye. This is how we create the 3D. And you know, 3D stitching is considered to be about 10 times more complicated than 2D stitching. You have to deal with distortions. You have to deal with consistency between the panoramas, it's much more complicated than just 2D stitching. And most of the 2D 360 camera are just two lenses, stitching it together and you're done. But you don't get an immersive feeling with a 2D 360 camera. So you need to do, in order to have an immersive feeling, you need to do in 360, that's one thing. But that's not enough. You need to also to have it in 3D. That's not enough also. You also need to have 3D audio. We also provide 3D special audio. There's four microphones here. Here. These are the microphones here, here, and here. Nice. Four audio channels. We're using a third-party software to create also special audio. And that works? All this works? All this works and ships on March 7th for our pre-order customers. So how many pre-orders do you have? We have many, many, many pre-orders. Yeah. And who's the customer who's going to buy this? Well, it's interesting to see that our customers are people who right now intend to make money out of the camera. Professional photographers, real estate agents, wedding, wedding photographers, um, journalists, jo journalists uh, people who want to create, create content for VR, content creators. Um, but I can say that some of them are purely consumers and down the road, these type of cameras would be also for regular consumers. And uh, the end stitch is 4K for each eye. Correct. That's basically 4K plus 4K. That's right. We have eight full HD cameras. So altogether we have 8K in the camera itself. But the resolution that the user sees is, is 4K. 4K. All right. And uh, this format, uh, do you need to convert it to make it work on YouTube? No. No, it is automatically creates the content to match YouTube, to match Facebook, and we are agnostic completely to the type of VR headset and smartphone that you have. And what's the, what's the what's it called, the bitrate? Well, the bitrate is uh, is 120 degrees. <laughs> 120. 120. Yeah. Megabit. Megabit. Yeah. So it's pretty big. Part. Yes. It's it creates. It creates, um, a, it's about one gigabyte raw data for the camera itself. So if you have a 64 gigabyte card in the camera, it 
last for one hour, but the stitching, the output file is about 300 and something megabyte per minute. Per minute? Per minute. Okay. All these different colors. How do you uh, start? Turn it on like that. Is there any visual uh, cue that it's yeah. on? You see? Now it's turned on. The nice thing here is that it works with, and this is something uh, that we haven't shown last year. It works with an application. It has a Wi-Fi. Obviously, you can simply turn turn this one and start recording. But let me show you here. You can turn on the Wi-Fi. Once the Wi-Fi is on, you connect directly to it. You connect directly to the camera. Let me show you how it works. Ooh. There's a lot of Wi-Fi going on here. Just straight. Oh, yes, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna look it. So I found my views camera. Yes. <laughs> so anybody can hack into it. Right. Once it's connected, there's a very nice application called the Views Camera application. It's available now on uh, iOS. It, so now you turn it on. It's a very simple remote control, but if you don't want to actually play, uh, push the button here... You don't, you don't get to see what's going on now. Like, no, you, you can't see. It's remote. Nice. See? So you can remote control. Right. 